My niece and nephew actually, uh, I actually got to take them to Comic Con this year. And I don't know if anybody's been, but if you haven't, check it out. It's the coolest thing you'll ever see. It's all your favorite superheroes, but everybody's out of shape. It is the funniest <laughs> <laughs> you will ever see. Fat Batman, Fat Superman, Wonder Woman got a muffin top. She looks great, you know what I mean? And here's the thing, they all wanted to dress up, but they wanted to go in Disney form, right? So my niece went as Elsa from Frozen, my nephew went as Peter Pan, and they're like, Uncle Manny, you gotta go as Captain Hook. And I was like, you know what? You guys got great grades this year. I'm gonna go all out for you guys, right? So I had the red velvet, leotard, shoe with the buckle, had the hat with the feather, right? Had the perm going in the back, right? I'm feeling good about myself, right? Kids are coming up to me at Comic-Con, they're like, yo, man, can I get a pic? I'm like, hell yeah, you can get a pic, right? They're like, yo, bro, I just gotta tell you, that is the dopest Rick James outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> Right. The dude who had the most fun was actually my nephew, Trey, man. Trey has autism. He's 13 years old, and I love him on a whole different level, man. He loves superheroes like nobody's business. He actually got amped up uh, a week before Comic-Con, man. This kid, like I said, he has autism, and he's in the middle of Safeway, frozen food section. I don't know where he rips off his shirt like the Incredible Hulk. I'm like, oh, Trey? I was like, buddy, sometimes I forget how strong you are. It's like, who are you? The Incredible Hulk, he stops and looks at me. He's like, no, Uncle Manny, I'm Magic Mike. I said, good though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very disturbing, very disturbing, very disturbing. Yes. This is a new joke I call, things I wish white people wouldn't do to me in my cubicle, okay? Uh. <laughs> All right. Number one, uh, if you have a black coworker, uh, please do not ask me uh, where you can score drugs, okay? Uh. <laughs> Kid you not, I got a buddy named Andy, and he was going to Vegas uh, pretty recently, and he was like, Manny, bro, do you know where I can get some uh, nose candy? I was like, what? What'd you say, Andy? He was like, you know, Miley Cyrus, you know, white girl, booger sugar, cocaine. I was like, oh, oh, no, Andy, like, I'm appalled that you would ask the only black guy in the office for a bag of cocaine. Like, ask me for the weed, I could hook that up, you know what I mean? But if you want cocaine, you need to ask Julio and Cesar and credit for the good stuff. Everybody knows that, right? Number two, number two, uh, a lot of my white friends, they go on cool trips throughout the year. Uh, when you do that, when you get back, please don't compare your skin tan <laughs> to my skin tone, okay? It was a weird conversation to have. Uh, my buddy Hugh, 67 years old, uh, should have retired a long time ago. Clearly from the Mad Men era, missed all the sensitivity training everybody else had to do, right? <laughs> Hugh got back, and he was like, Manny, bro, just hit the Bahamas. Stick out your arm, huh? Almost there, almost there. <laughs> hurtful, hurtful. Right? You know what that's like? That's like if I was at a work pool party and I jump in some cold water, I jump back out, I'm like, hey, you, hey, you, tiny dick, huh? Almost there. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. Don't do that. Finally, the last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with is if you have a coworker who is a black comedian, be very sensitive how you tell him new jokes, okay? Uh, I got a buddy named Mike. Mike came up to me in my cube. He's like, Manny, bro, got a new joke for you. Uh, you can use it in your little act. Uh, <laughs> he was like, it's a black joke. Do you want to hear it? I was like, no, Mike, no, I don't think I need to, I think I need to hear this. He's like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna tell you anyway, I'm gonna tell you anyway. It's like, what is something a white guy never wants to call a black guy? Need a hint? Starts with an N, ends with an R. I was like, here we go with this book, Mike. It's like, you give up, buddy? Neighbor, am I right? I was like, I am. It's hurtful, it really is. I don't know why you're applauding at that. That's hurt, dude. I don't know why you're applauding. But you want to know the worst part about that is he works for HR, so I have nobody to complain to about that. All right, you guys, that's all for me. Thank you so much.